Hello, let's learn about business analytics. This is the first word today, business analytics. It's the process of transforming the raw data into insights to improve business decisions. In olden days also the decisions are taken, but behind the decision, the data may not be there. But right now, we need to take the calculated risk in order to reduce the uncertainty of the decisions, we need to supply the required data to be transformed. Those data will back up our business decisions. So that's why the business analytics is gaining importance in today's business scenario. It's a set of disciplines and technologies for solving business problems using data analysis statistical models and other quantitative methods. So it's a combination of data, statistics and other quantitative methods. It involves iterative methodological exploration of organization's data with an emphasis on statistical analysis to drive decision making. So here the focus is on the exploring the data, the organization's real-time data, by keeping a view of statistical analysis, applying the statistical analysis on the organization's data, the decisions are taken. Business analyst brings together the fields of business management and compute to get actionable insights. These values and inputs are then used to remodel the business procedures to generate more efficiency and build a productive system. So let us understand the types of business analytics. There are four major types of business analytics, namely descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. If you see the levels of management, that is the business insights, in level one, the descriptive analytics will be used. Between the level two and three, the diagnostic analytics will be used. Between the level 3 and level 4, predictive analytics will be used. And in the top management, the prescriptive analytics will be used. So, level 1, let's see, it's a supervisory level. And level 2 and 3 are the managerial levels. And level 4 and above are the strategic management levels. So, the past trends are analyzed with the help of descriptive analytics. It answers the question of what happened. For example, in order to predict how a unit could react to a collection of specified variables, it conducts analysis over historical data, namely summarizing the past events, the summarizing the past sales data or past uh, data of any kind, and social media usage, the social media engagement data, Reporting the general trends are some of the examples to talk about the descriptive analytics, which aims at what happened, the question. Moving on to the diagnostic analytics, it answers the question of why did it happen. It employs drill down and correlations that helps in understanding the past events and what the main elements were. For example, we can examine the market demand, we can explain the customer behavior and we can identify the technological issues improving the company culture etc are some of the examples for diagnostic analytics it answers the question of why did it happen it finds out the cause the predictive analytics it answers the question of what could happen it is here the focus is on prediction it will be used by the executive levels it determines the probability of future events using the historical data. Here also we use the past data, but it determines the future events probability of winning it. For example, predicting the customer's preferences when we are introducing a new product or when you are introducing an old product in a new market. We need to predict the customer preferences. And also the recommendation algorithms recommending the products are working the analytics behind that is predictive analytics. We can also detect the employees' mindsets and their intentions 
predicting the staff and resources, we can predicting the churn, etc. With predictive analytics, it answers the question of what could happen. The higher end analytics called a prescriptive analytics, it answers the question of what should we do. So here it prescribes the best course of actions. The It is also called the level 4 and above, that is the top level management will use this prescriptive analytics to take their decision. It helps in taking the best possible outcomes by providing insights about a future event. For example, tracking fluctuating prices in manufacturing, improving equipment management, price modeling, evaluating the rates of Redmission, uh, identifying the testing and patients for clinical testing, etc., are some of the prescriptive analytics techniques. It answers the question of what should we do.